Getting set to go now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. of six under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on gone, second gone. down from the shotgun he'll look to throw and he fires one that's intercepted picked up on Levante David and they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Screen play, Johnson. Oh, good move. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively, they rally quickly after the broken tackle. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard, and it's second down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Underneath for Johnson. And he's got some space here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take him to like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. It's a gain of five, and it's a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Vikings on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And his kick is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt, just the way you used to hit him, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. And Detroit getting set to go now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? 
I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, I totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. He'll look to throw. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. He'll look to throw. That's complete. It's Collins. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Try it here. He's back to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked up by Levante David. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. But well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, Th that's Then right. with the Eagles? That's right. It's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. Good starting field position nice for them as nice they come ball. up first and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call it a gain of three. And that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They'll set up a throw. Wide open receiver complete. Diggs with a good footwork. And he is able to take this way down into Detroit territory. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. And with just inside of 10 